Survival is all that matters. Time to strike. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Need to press onward. Move unseen. Shall be done.
Let's have some fun. No choice but to keep going. I have to survive this. Now what? There is work to do. I won't give in. Blood comes easy these days. Sometimes the only way out is through. Talk to me. Still breathing, despite everything. Need to stay focused.
just trying to concentrate gently. to focus. It has it. <laughs> Concentrate. the slaughter. Fury. 
I am death. My faith will protect me. Taking position. to keep going. Fury, I am death. Shall we cut and run?
sell so much for peace. Let's finish this. Go for the throat. I can't even catch my breath. Time for a cull. Outmaneuver them. Ready. Let's have some cup. Talk to me. Quickly. Nothing important is ever easy. Today. How many die tomorrow? Damn it all! A Kithrak demanded my head. He'd deny me a cure. Bah! This is a distraction. The Kithrak deserves the whole of my scorn. How dare he speak my queen's name? How dare he dishonor her child? Do not be naive. I followed protocol. I've earned Vlacketh's favor. I will remove the parasite. I will see the Kithrak dead. And I will offer his head to Vlacketh herself. A crush is near, that much is certain. We follow the path forward and seek signs of Githyanki settlers. No one, not even the ignoble Gestil Kithrak, will keep me from my purification.
corpse regards you lifelessly. Seeking path. Baldur's Gate. Risen Road. Cross. Wooden Bridge. Miller. In Elturel. Monstrous warriors. Keen sword. He crossed blades with a Githyanki. Few survive the ordeal. Fewer still claim victory. Mountain path. The spell's power wanes. The corpse regards you. All powerful. Black its prize. Mountains at the crash. Cleansing my queen. Sarth. Warrior. Of Blackest. The spell's power wanes. through the slate, then to Lacel. A mystical map glows before you, revealing a Githyanki refuge inside a temple with the slate also reveals the Githyanki's purpose. They are combing the Sword Coast in search of a polyhedric relic of great importance to their queen. Zoru did not lie. We will soon reach a Githyanki crash. It lies within an ancient temple at the mountain pass. Hurry forth. Purification is at hand. Save my path with corpses, build my castle with bones. No traps, please. Closed due to inclement weather. Seek marked detail. What am I to do? Go. 
go. I'm way too big. My faith will guide me. Careful, I died. No one back home will ever believe this. Hmm. How delicious. No time to dally. Trust no one. I'm ready. If not over, then through. Looking for steel? I have, well, something close. <sighs> Looking for steel? I have, well, something close. Looking for steel? I have, well, something close.
get on with it. They should all be running. Something I can help you? Of course. Got some interesting stock for a friend of the family. Pleasure. Eager for battle. Onward. Thanks, boss. We'll be looking a lot. If not over, then through. Perhaps. But at such an accelerated rate. Ah, a visitor. I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. Very well. I greet you, child of the stars. May your tri We'll be clear. No point in lingering now I've got the noble stock. I greet you. I was born ever. The moment its control shattered, I fled. Before the colony discovered, I had defected. May your tra- Will be no point in lingering now I've got the noble stock.
I greet you, child of the stars. May your... Will be no point in lingering now I've got the noble stock.
there is work to do. I greet you, child of the stars. May your travel... Will be clear. No point in lingering now I've got the noble stock. Looking for steel? I have, well, something close. Still in control. Just.
the gods are watching me. There you are, my friend. Oh, that. A scratch. I ran afoul of a bear. He took a little of my blood. I took all of his. You're comparing plonk to vintage wine. But Casador fed me rats and bugs. And when you're used to drinking from a sewer, even plonk. <laughs> Still, that was the past. I'll never have to grovel for him again. Exactly. I can be better than him. Stronger. Oh, you meant be kinder. I have no objection to being nice, of course. Once I have the power to bend others to my will. <laughs> is it? What good is freedom if I'm always watching the shadow? No. I'll be safe when I'm powerful enough to grind Cazador into the dust. Powerful enough to do whatever the hell I want. Oh, I hope so. A little corruption sounds fun. I spent centuries as the victim of a corrupt man. It was the Mind Flayers that plucked me away from that. They gave me a gift. The strength to take my own freedom. Yes? Speak. The disc appears in your mind's eye. Lazel sees it too and considers the vision. Tiersu markings. Ancient. I recognize them, but I can't make sense. The texts are enciphered, but I... Your head buzzes in concert with Lazelle's, but it hardly matters. Even without the connection, you'd recognize her discomfort. A traitor. This text is heresy. I can hardly bear to read it. Let... Very well. The Prince of the Comet... So it was. Gith traveled to the hell. Lies. But Gith had nurtured a son. Orpheus rallied Gith's honor guard and disregard this... this drivel. Gith declared Vlakith queen of the Empire and her own son defied her. Orpheus would have ceded control to the Geich. She did nothing of the sort. Thank your good fortunes, I'm a tolerant woman. We get along quite well, I think. It seems the Githyanki are keen to reclaim the artifact I carry. I can't afford that to happen. In fact, none of us can. That thing is shielding us somehow. I don't want to know what happens if we lose it. Agreed. There's not much we can do but press forward. path with corpses, build my castle with bones. Hope you're keeping well, friend. I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. I see you've been using the powers the tadpole gives you. Good. But things haven't gone as you expected. You hoped a druid as powerful as Halsin might be able to remove your tadpole. But he couldn't. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. Yes. Halsin is correct. Your parasite is unusual. 
It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. You were lucky that Halsin knew this. His instincts are right. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. The absolute sames are not yet clear to me, but its progress towards domination is clear. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the absolute and believe it to be a god. You witnessed it yourself with Priestess Gut. That is how the cult of the absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be Mind Flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. It's complicated, but I'm an adventurer, just like you. Just like you, I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. The power I used to protect you, I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. Quite the cozy setup you have here. Out. My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. Vola carefully holds one. The needle finds the gap. Pange. I the needle. Oh, bother. Volo carefully withdraws the needle from your eye. Then, reaching into his... Volo slowly... Tap. Tap. Do you feel that? Ha! I stretch. He pauses, looks down at your eye. There appears to be an amount of... cosmetic damage. Oh, fantastic! That squint does wonders for your gravitas, in my humble opinion. Though, so, um, perhaps there's something we can do. Take this. A far superior relic to that old jelly you were chained to. 
try it on for size. And, um, it was very nice to have met you. I'm sure you'll sort out your little brain problem one way or another. Far away from here, if you've a heart. Terribly sorry, my friend. Ta! bad as it could have. gave me another gift, too. Just like it did the first time it appeared. Rather generous, if you ask me. And while we're at it, we can see how many more of these little worms we can harvest. Now, was there anything else? Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had some... I... It sounds awful. Moving ahead. Something's on my mind. This vessel is at the... Th no one back home will ever believe this. Still breathing, despite everything. can I do for you? I would, but you have so many friends in that case.
I wonder what the next move is. Eager for battle. What's next? your back. I have such a headache. I wonder what the next move is. Keep a blade close. There's no time to waste. Nothing hurts anymore. Indolence breeds madness. Hmm? It's a nice form, but useless now. Moving in. There's barely any. I can't believe they just left. Leave it, son. No! Icaron, we're in for a hell of a fight. Exactly. I know. You would have given them an extra helping. They're cowards, mother. You don't owe them anything. Uh, curse to put my hands on everything. Will's brows furrow as your minds connect. He sees the burning embers of Joaquin's rest, then Floric's face as she tells you of Ravenguard's abduction. Hells! Older Ravenguard's been taken. Then we need to seek him out and get him to safety. You see, Grand Duke Ravenguard is my father. I know I haven't said. Our relation was no matter of pride, not least for him. You heard right. My father and I were close once. Such a rift isn't so easily mended. But... Look at this. Quiet! Some of the children might hear you. Oh, perish the thought they overhear a little honesty once in their short lives. Another word and it won't be the goblins you have to worry about. Enough, both of you! That's to say, me at the front while the others stay back and do as I say? Shut it just for once, you insufferable- Stop it! Listen to someone else for once! There you go, Roland. The glory of dying first is all yours. Happy? Exceedingly happy. But I won't be dying. That's as close to an agreement as we're likely to get. Let's keep it that way. Let's just stick to the plan. Agreed. Roland? Fine, fine. Agreed. Please, we need to get him into the cave before the goblins come. 
The kids found a hidden cave, but we can't seal it up until we find Donny. I appreciate it. We won't seal it up until he's safe with the rest. I crave blood. Mm. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Mm. Keep your distance, darling. Mm. Can't give up now. Best be on my way. Helm, protect us! Lathander to light. You realize he prays to Kalimvor. What is it? I'm... I'm busy. Well, seems like I'll be facing him before long. I knew I smelled the stink of cowardice. something to ask. I need to find... You again. 
Don't spare the fire arrows. Let's see if goblins are prettier with a coat of burning oil on. You're back. Nice to see a familiar... I wish I had better. But this is all I have. Make more as I need a weapon. I still have a few left. I wish I had better. But this is all I made Tamora's luck twist your way. I hope you're here to fight. You look a sight tougher than the others. Need a weapon. I still have a few left. How did you... Guards! You have a habit of turning up where you're least expected. But no less welcome for that. We've spotted goblins in the woods. What happened at their camp? Truly? Hells, I didn't expect it. We were almost ready to leave. Well, there's nothing for it now. A fight it will have to be. We threw them back once. If you're with us, perhaps we can do it again. We have the barricades, just not the warriors to man them. If we're to survive, we'll need to thin the goblin numbers quickly. Every ounce of oil that we could spare has been buried out in front of the gate. We'll blow the horn to draw them in, and pray our fire arrows strike true. Your courage is catching, it seems. Or perhaps I've finally lost my reason. Make what preparations you deem necessary, and then sound the horn. Let's have this done. Won't pretend I expected to see you back again. People are scared. Well... Came back to join our heroic last stand? Doesn't look like any of us are going to make it to Baldur's Gate. Admiring my beautiful barricade? Probably. I'm ready for this. yourself together.
indolence breeds madness. Hmm. Keep a blade close. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Black, it's well be done. I am ready. Don't touch me. Let's get on with it. Like it's will be done. Action, not reaction. Hmm. Knock. Draw. Breathe. Knock. Draw. Breathe. This is it. Everything turns on this. I know that you are all afraid. But I also know that you have been fighting your whole lives. We have never been handed the easy choices. These creatures would take our lives. A splinter of ice works its way into your mind. A pretty speech. It almost brings a tear to my eye. Now slit his throat and open that gate. The Absolute wants all of them dead. Traitor, I'll dissect you.
will ascend. Feel some
fury. I am death. Hungry for the slaughter. Dance macabre. Seems like the best way. Thank you. 
Don't give up. Victory awaits. are watching me. hiding here.
That's... That's the last of them. Timora, smile on me. We did it. They name us outcasts, but the blood of those who fell today ran as pure as any heroes. We are survivors. We are family, but you have earned every stride so far. You? I don't know if you were sent here by gods, or fate, or sheer bloody luck. I don't care, should you ever need it. But we need not speak of departures just yet. And I, for one, could use a bloody drink. We'll join your camp tonight, if you'll have us. By all the watching gods, that's Halsin. Go, speak to him. Return when you wish to travel to your camp. The grove stands, nature prevails, and again, I am in your debt. The journey to Moonrise Towers, and all the dangers that that entails. But that's tomorrow's problem. Take some time for yourself tonight. Rest, celebrate. Enjoy the respite. Come morning, we have matters to discuss. You are a marvel to behold. Even Balduran himself would bow to such formidable talent. <sighs> Introductions are in order. The Blade of Frontier. The man's smile bends downward. You are the Blade of Frontiers. Hell's Great Fires. You're on the ship. Mm. But I haven't sprouted any tentacles. Your minds collide once. Shit! You saw her! Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. Carlax. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Illithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I'd well met. And call on me if you find a fix for this affliction of ours. Might even join you once that devil's met my blade. Seems like a good moment to talk. All that fuss and for what? I barely call that a fight. Somebody stole the idol. If I find out who it was, I'll recruit him. Somebody. It won't bring the dead back. The goblins will be out for blood after what happened at the grove. Best to stay clear, or be ready for a fight.
we did it. Or need to break camp fast. Remember, find the river and follow it downstream. They'll pay good coin for it, I swear. I'm your lummox. Yeah, I'm. We're ready to head to your camp. Are you? Excellent. You know, I never pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. I hate it. This is awful. Enjoy myself. There's a worm in my brain. <laughs> but I'll be here. Buzz of celebration quiets to a souping hum as you approach your bunk. You've picked up a few pleasant memories on your journey amongst your struggles. You sleep alone. Uplifted by memories of your recent triumphs. I trust you enjoyed your evening. After it may be some time before you're afforded another such night. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but the journey specifically, it's extremely perilous. I suppose it was too much to hope we were going to be cured here and now. To Moonrise, then. To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings. Tormented. Dangerous souls. You could go overland, along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorm built a secret stronghold deep down there. Dark Justicius. I must see for myself. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. You've already been. Impressive. You'll make me redundant at this rate. That sounds like what you need. But the next part of the journey mightn't be straightforward. Or safe. It may prove impossible to avoid the Shadow Curse entirely. But if you find any way to limit your exposure, seize it. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. May Sylvanas guide us. I thank you. Perfect for thinking. And I've been doing just that. It's about Wolbrin. The problem is this. A preponderance of evidence that I am a terrible adventurer. I'm not sure I should trust Wolbrin's fate to... Well... Me. Hmm. You've done so much already. I can't risk recapture. You'd do it then. You'd look for him. That's... <clears throat> Very decent of you. There's something else you should know. I know you've learned about the gnome's pursuit of rune powder. But do 